Hi guys, welcome back. So now here in this session, I'll explain another error and solution of that error. So look at here, I've specified this error. Transaction key NDT chart of account, this one is not defined in this table, right? So transaction key uh, NDT and chart of account. See, when this error is taking place, I'll show here. One of my student has shared this screenshot here. So I'll just do one thing. Let me log into SAP first and i'll show you so while transaction posting what is happening guys this error is taking place say for example use fb60 here okay so there is a company code let me post a transaction here let me give star tax code you have to select the tax related issues okay press enter click on simulate so now so this is what the error which is taking place right so now what is the reason first of all so transaction key NDT chart of account this one is not defined in table so generally what is happening guys this transaction key or you can say account key right so first of all we have to find out about this like account key NDT what is this NDT so how to get this NDT guys first of all you have to check the tax procedure right you need to check the tax procedure obq3 you can use right what is your tax procedure so tax procedure that uh, you might be knowing like here the tax procedure is toto that is the code of tax procedure here so this is the tax procedure whatever your tax procedure is there that you have to select double click on control and look at here account key so you have to check here is the account key ndt so this NDT is created for what? So look at here. Now NDT is created for, okay, this is non-deductible, right? So non-deductible means what is happening, guys? The tax amounts, of, okay, tax amount should be added, right? Here this error should not be taking place. Okay, I, I came to know, I, I got it, I got it. So now here, this is what the, this is what the account key, right? NDT, and this is related to non-deductible now what you have to do i'll just show you here so go to obcn obcn and check ndt here ndt right and double click on ndt so look at here non-deductible means generally what happened see two things are there when if you talk about this transactions right so gst let's suppose 12 percent 1000 worth of amount plus 12 percent gst so it become 1120 right so how much worth of invoice you're going to how much worth of invoice you'll be receiving the total invoice amount is 1120 rupees right including gst so generally what is happening guys vendor will be credited with 1120 and uh, this purchase account will be debited it could be any any gl but it's okay purchase account will be divided with 1120 right because non-deductible means what is happening guys whatever the tax amount is there that is going to be added to the relevant line item but generally what happened here look at here posting indicator is two it means it is saying separate line separate line item it means whatever the tax amount is there that's supposed to be posted separately right it means vendor account will be credited worth of 1120 and this purchase account will be debited worth of 1000 and whatever remaining amount 120 is there that's supposed to be posted separately in the form of tax expense okay if it is gst then we can say gst expense or whatever it is so in the form of expense it can be posted okay so now it means that 1000 sorry that 120 rupees that's supposed to be posted separately to a particular GL account. So here what is happening system is not able to identify that particular GL account for which amount for 120 rupees, right? So that is called tax expense or you can say GST expense. So now here, because posting indicator is two separate line items. So what we have to do, go to FS00. Let me check whether this GL is created or not. GST expense. This is already created. The GL is already created. Now simply we need to assign this GL account where OB40 is there where we can assign this GL account. Check where is NDT. 
NDT na. Just come down. Uh, so here, double click, chart of account gift. And uh, what is the GA account, guys? So 4000 something was there. Chart of account to you, to you. Okay, so here, GST expense. This one we can select. Just save it. So now we have assigned the GL account. Now, the issue got resolved. Once again, you have to use like which one? FB60. Because just now we have made the changes. So refresh this screen. Enter your vendor number, date, amount, along with taxes. So 1120 worth of invoice we have received, right? Cash purchase you can or purchase whatever it is. And uh, GL account could be purchase account, but it's okay. Cash purchase is selected by the candidate. It's okay, no issues. So anyway, we have to find out the solutions for this, right? And here you can give stock. You can give your tax code and click on calculate tax. Down payment is there, just skip and simulate. Now look at here, SAP is able to find. So now here what is happening? GST expense account this 120 supposed to be posted to a separate line item, right? So when it is getting posted to a separate line item, there must be a GL account, right? Where this amount will be posted? Of course, a GL account must be there. And this GL account system was unable to identify. Why? Because it is not assigned here against NDT. SAP is able to find out this transaction key or account key. But within this transaction key, GL account was missing. The assignment was missing. That is the reason here this error was taking place. Okay. So now this is solved. And transaction can be posted successfully. Yes, it is done. So this is what the solution for this error.